So you probably know by now that plastics are not good for our environment. Have you heard there's 150 million tons of plastic in the oceans? And we're adding to this by 8 million tons of plastic every year. Maybe you've seen the video of that sea turtle with plastic straw stuck in its nose. Or those other videos of other uh, you know, wildlife that have been killed by plastics. It's kind of heartbreaking. But what about bees and plastics? So a couple of years ago, there was an interesting paper that reported some leaf cutter bees using pieces of plastic bags in their nesting material. And this paper kind of celebrated this as the bees with an ecologically advantageous adaptive trait. So they said these bees were adapting to our waste by using them. And a bunch of news articles talked about bees upcycling our garbage. Now, I, I felt like this was misguided years ago when this got published because plastics probably aren't good for bees. But recently, some friends of mine and I published a paper about additional observations of leaf cutter bees apparently using plastic flagging as nesting material. Let me show you. So I have a friend who lives down in Southern Arizona and several years ago, he sent me these. These are pieces of plastic flagging that he uses in his garden to mark you know, different plants and where he's planted or harvested or things like that. And he noticed that there was these distinct circles cut out of the plastic flagging. These are very indicative of leaf cutter bees. You can actually see along the edge here where the leaf cutter bees use their mandibles to cut away that plastic flagging. So normally a leaf cutter bee cuts pieces of leaves, brings them back to their nest, uses it like wallpaper. They use this to make little rooms in their nest and that's where they put the pollen and nectar and they lay an egg. So this observation was made back in 2009. But then again, that same friend found in his, in his yard a different color of flagging with, again, pieces, uh, semicircles cut out from it, showing that leafcutter bees, again, have been active. So what's the problem with leafcutter bees using plastic like this? Well, potentially, if they make their entire nest cell out of these plastic pieces, it could change the dynamics and the environment of that nest cell. For example, back in the 70s, some researchers let leafcutter bees nest in plastic straws, like soda straws, and they found that 90% of the offspring died because of fungal growth. Those plastic straws don't breathe as well as the natural wood cavities that these bees nest in. And so the plastic sealed in the moisture, didn't let the, the gas exchange, and 90% of the offspring died. So if the leafcutter bees are building their nest cells out of entirely out of these plastic pieces, potentially there could be similar problems. Now, other researchers that have reported bees using plastic found that some of these bees were making the nest cells partially out of plastic, partially out of leaves. And maybe this would let enough air exchange for those bees to survive, but we really don't know. So in this paper, what me and my colleagues suggest is that we need more citizen scientists to be on the lookout for leafcutter bees using plastic garbage. I think this is probably not a very good thing for leafcutter bees to be using. It's one more way that humans polluting the environment with plastic can harm wildlife, including bees. So if you're interested in this paper, there's a link down in the description. You can read more about it. Um, if you have seen leafcutter bees using plastic, please let me know by leaving a comment or contacting me through social media.